Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Colleen C. to Serendipity. I'm Colleen. Welcome into my new viewers and welcome back to my Serendipity subbies. Today is November 6, 2022, and I would like to bring you this day in history. Soviet scientist and well-known human rights activist Andrei Sokolov begins a two-week visit to the United States. During his visit, he pleaded with American government and the people to support Russian leader Mikhail Gorbachev's policies of glasnost, political openness, and pre-Estoka pre economic reform, and so to ensure the success of the new and more democratic and friendlier Soviet system. Sakharov had not always been a favorite of the Soviet government. During the late 1930s and 1940s, he was, he was a respected psychiatrist in Soviet Union and was part of a group of scientists who worked in, to develop Russia's first hydrogen bomb in 1950. By the late 1950s, however, he began to have serious doubts about Russia open, Russia's open-air testing of nuclear weapons. He also began a protest for more scientific freedom in the Soviet Union. By the mid-1960s, he was openly criticizing the Stalin legacy and current laws designated to muzzle political opponents. In 1968, he had an essay published in the New York Times calling for a system that merged socialism with capitalism. Because of this, Sakharov was stripped of his security clearance and job. In 1970, he co-founded the Moscow Committee, Committee Committee for Human Rights. His work resulted in his winning the Nobel Prize in 1975. Sokolov also urged the U.S. to pressure the Soviet Union concerning the latter's human rights policy and harshly criticized Russia's invasion of Af Afghanistan in 1979. He and his wife were arrested and sentenced to internal exile. Despite of his isolation, his supporters continued to smuggle his writings out of the country. In December of 1986, Gorbachev released Sakharov and his wife from exile. It was a pragmatic move on Gorbachev's part. He desired closer relationship with the West and Sokharov had become a hero to many in the United States and otherwise and elsewhere. Sokharov became a spokesman for the reforms Gorbachev was trying to push through and praised the construction of the new Soviet Union. His November 1988 trip to the United States was part of the efforts was I'm sorry his November 1988 trip to the US was part of this effort nevertheless he continued to press for more di diplomacy in the Soviet Union on December 14, 1989, shortly after delivering a speech renouncing Russia's one-party rule, Stokov suffered a heart attack and died. I want to thank you for watching today, and I want you to stay safe and stay blessed.
and smile because I love you, but more importantly, God loves you. Bye. I'll see you in my next video.